Alright, today I'm going to be showing you how to use uh, all data. So, here we go. I'm going to open it. So, you'll come to a tip of the day. You don't have to read it once it opens, but it is there if you want to. So, I'm going to close it for now. So, when you get there here, you'll see some options at the top. I'm going to click on new car. And I'm going to do a 2001 Chevy Tahoe. So, I'm going to click on the year. See, there's your year, your make, and then your model. So, I'm going to go to Chevy truck. And there's all your models right there. Uh, I'm obviously going to do the Tahoe. And then if you notice at the bottom, there are different engine types depending on which model of the Tahoe you have. I personally have the 5.3. Okay, so now you're back here, but this time your car is loaded. Now let's say you wanted to do an oil change and you don't know. You'll click on Diagnosis and Repair. Just wait for it to load. Okay. So now there's your system information. You got a list of options, and then you also have some tabs on the left-hand side. Um, if you think that your problem that you have, if you've heard about it, maybe from other people that have the same car as you, it might be a common problem. So if that's the case, if it is, you click on technical service bulletins, and then you got some options here, recalls, customer interests, etc. Uh, if there has been some recalls that Chevy has done, or whatever model of car that you have, there have been some recalls on the car that I chose. As you can see, there's a list, uh, front wheel, speed sensor, corrosion, etc. Uh, in this case, it's not a common problem. I mean, we're just doing an oil change, so I'm going to go back here, and then you get back to this page. Uh, if you're going to find what kind of oil you need and how much, you go to specifications, and then for the type of fluid that you're going to need, you click on fluid type. There's a list that shows up. Uh, click on fluid type, and we're obviously going to go to engine oil, and then there you go. There, it shows up right there, the recommended oil viscosity, 5W30, etc. There's even images that show a diagram. But, yeah. So, go back. And if you want to know how much oil you do have to put in, you'll go back to the vehicle specifications. You'll go capacity, engine oil, of course. And there you go. Capacity with a filter change comes up to 6 quarts. No, recheck oil lever level after fil filling. So if there is a note underneath, make sure that you do read it. So now we're going to go back home. Um, let's say that you want to do a timing chain, and you can't find it. If you don't know where to find it on the list, there's this option up here with a magnifying glass, and it's got an A to Z around it. Click on that, and type in what you're looking for. It says search for. So timing... And then there's some options that show up. Usually they'll catch on. So click timing chain. Okay. And then this shows up. Service and repair. Just wait for it to load. Oh. And then there you go. There is the procedure right there. The service and all the repair and all that. And there's even diagrams that show up on the side. So if you notice, not turn the crane shaft. We'll click on that. And then it'll even come with more specifications. So. <clears throat> if you want to see how long something's going to take you, when you go back to home, you'll go back to this list. Click on parts and labor. And let's see. We'll search up the timing chain again. It's still there. And then there you go. It'll even give you parts, and it'll show you the price and everything in this case. And there's the labor. Shows up as a list on the right-hand side. Now, if you notice, on the bottom it says, uh, with three-piece engine covers, it says add time. It'll say, like, 0.2, so you add, like, another 20 minutes. And there you go. Again, another 20 minutes. So, that is basically how you use all data.